Hi there, I'm Clifford Bates, and this is my introduction to my subscribe star. Now, I've had this for about four or five years, but have you know, I'm not so good at these kind of social media things. I mean, I've had uh, um, uh, Facebook since 2008, 2009. Uh, because of the university, you know, I'm a, I'm a teacher, I'm a, a professor at, uh, at Warsaw University in Poland, I'm American, but not Polish, uh, I've been here since September 1999, uh, before that I was in Slovakia, before that I was in America, uh, I'm teaching uh, uh, at the Central Connecticut State University before the down, uh, uh, the, the reduction of the general education requirements got rid of people like me. Uh, um, why am I doing this? Subscribe, subscribe, because well, the uh, inflation has hit, uh, and uh, um, and, and I don't want to teach as much as anymore. I'm getting older, much older, and I uh, can't just keep on teaching double loads, triple loads at other programs and other places like I used to. Um, it just kills you because it destroys your ability to work and therefore, and also produce. Um, what about me? Um, uh, what I do? I'm a political scientist. I do study political theory. I do work on, a, uh, I do history of political thought, but I mostly d uh, do work on Aristotle's politics. Uh, go here and go get this for a second. This was my 2004 book, uh, this paperback, I'm sure the paperback, still available on a uh, Amazon and uh, publishers. It was Aristotle's Best Regime. It was relatively well received. Um, uh, um, you can go check it out on Google, you can check it out on Google uh, and see what I said, what people said about it. Some people criticized it. I was challenging some th things. Um, I still think it's a very good book. Um, <clears throat> this is my 2016 Washington University Press. It's uh, kind of uh, I caught my pulu uh or groundwork, the kind of taste. Of the thing I've been working two decades on. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's about two, two since 2006. 2006. Uh, that is Aris, my, my so called Aristotle's regime science. Originally, I planned it to be kind of a three volume thing. I, um, but I decided that no one's going to want to publish a three volume set. Um, I originally published, you know, have a, 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 my real ambition was to kind of have a book for every book of the politics since my dissertation was kind of book uh, uh, on book three my dissertation and my uh, uh, which became a revised version of became my heirs of the best regime which is in book three um, I've always been interested in what we call the the practical books book uh, four five and six of the politics I call this his regime science or, or his political science this is the origin of classical political science traditional political science um, and uh, um, this, the, uh, uh, the centrality of the regime of political science, is kind of my explanation why the, uh, what Aristotle calls the politeia is so central to uh, 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 of the founding of, a, of the origins of the study of politics, the study of political things. Um, um, my my, I have 400 pages of book four. I'm working, I bought 150 pages of book five. And I'm going to have to, I want to get it done by next year. I want to get it done next year. I'm getting old. I don't want to die. I don't know I'm very soon I die soon, a few years. Um, and I want to get this done before I die. You know, I don't want to have this just sitting there saying, oh, he never did it. I have my super archive over here. I'm not going to show it to you. It's huge. Of every chapter of uh, Aristotle's politics, uh, what it did was it had all... Um, all the different translations, all the different like, copies, and every chapter by it's book by book, chapter by chapter examination, uh, and looking at the different translations in English, and, and a little bit of I, I have the two Latin major Latin translations, um, the uh, various English translations. Um, I had some of the German translate, uh, I had two French translations, uh, the four French translations of the major ones, uh, three from the. Uh, uh, two from 20th century, one from the uh, uh, 19th, and then I have also one from the fifth, uh, uh, 16th century, I think. I think that's 16th century. Um, uh, uh, and what I do is I compare chapter by chapter, look at how the terms and things. I also make out, I have outlines and notes and lists of s sources and things 
that are relevant for the chapters. Uh, this is why, I mean, this led me to produce this. This is my recent tw 2020 book. Um, uh, this is not a book per se. It's kind of copyright violation coming up. Uh, Cliff's Notes, Cliff, right? Cliff's Notes on Aristotle's Politics. Well, I used uh, a notebook uh, for Aristotle's Politics, a workbook. This is basically not a book per se. It's a study guide. It is like Cliff Notes. <laughs> What it does is it looks at the whole politics. Uh, it introduces the question of how to read it, how to look at it, uh, how to uh, approach the text, how to navigate the text, explaining the, you know things like uh, the different systems of uh, structuring of the text, um, uh, uh, questions of how to approach it. Then we go through book one, book two, book three. And I, I designed it so that students can, at the end of a book, can add notes. In fact, the margins are designed so you can put notes in it. This is something, this is something you should engage with. It's designed to students who are going to be studying po Aristotle's politics to kind of have, you know, if you're going to be a professional student who's doing this and be uh, tackling it, that's one thing. Um, but uh, even other students who are going to be tackling this as for term papers or research or you're interested in it, uh, you want to read it yourself in that sense. Uh, Aristotle's politics is one of the critical books to understand not only politics but of Western civilization, Western. But, but there goes the, and I this is out. This is brand new published. It's about under thirty dollars. I wanted it originally to be on twenty, but we got stuck that, that you know, t today thirty dollars was twenty uh, um, five years ago twenty dollars. Okay, so um, uh, uh, this is uh, I, I did it through Lulu, and I did it through Lulu only because um, the publishers, the textbook publishers. Who I was negotiating. Well, I'm not going to name my. I'm talking about, it, but major text four textbook publishers were kind of interested. But three years ago, when I first talked about doing this idea, th three major text four sorry four, two year two two, uh, two American one American three European uh, American European global all global really, um, uh, all said uh, um, you know. Uh, they uh, they were interested and they were really doing it. But um, when I looked, in fact, I was about to sign the agreement on it. But then I noticed that the target, the the, the, the marketing department, all of them, uh, the not marketing department was basically saying it's going to be one hundred twenty five hundred fifty dollars a book. Textbooks go that much, you know, and that they're going to be like a textbook. And I said this is not really a textbook, um, but they thought it was, and that was uh, I was and that's why I kind of. Uh, and they were going to make it kind of a textbook with some assistance and things, uh, like you know PowerPoint. They, they were going to hire a team, like all textbook companies do. This. They have a team and they do it. The editorial things. They'll take what I did and you know do things. And well, no way. I would. I, I thought no one's going to. For this to be useful, it has to be affordable. Okay, for people to get it in their hands, um, and it wouldn't work because of the charts and things. And the way the charts and things in here are kind of designed, um, it doesn't work as an ebook. I tried making an ebook; it just it just looks crappy. Unless you get a PDF, a PDF version of this will um, uh, work in that sense because it's a PDF. But the the, the major uh, 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 most of the major producers don't want PDFs; they want ePubs and things, and it just becomes a garbly piece of shit. Okay. And I don't want to give people a piece of shit. You know, um, you know I, I want to give them something that's useful. Uh, so I, I made the hardback of this. Um, um, I'm not, hardback, paperback, sorry, paperback. I, I made a hardback myself, but uh, um, psh, no, no. Um, I really like this. I really like this. It's very good in that sense. It is worth uh, have working with. It's like this. Um, please buy it at Lulu. Okay. Because um, I get the, uh, uh, you, you can buy the Amazon, Barnes and Noble everywhere. <clears throat> uh, so uh, you can buy it in Europe. You can buy it in Amazon in UK. It's got to get a little longer. Uh, Amazon Poland, Amazon Germany. And, you know, it's all over the Amazon system. Barnes and Noble, um, A and E, um, A and E Books, um, uh, Alibris, Barnes and Noble. I say Barnes and Noble already. <sighs> um, Libras, uh, Book Depository, other places, all available, and many other places. I discovered book, small little bookstores, uh, online bookstores, were, were doing it. Uh, it 
and I'm going to probably do something else. I want to get my, uh, I want to spend my time getting the uh, Aristotle's best regime, uh, best regime. <coughs> Sorry, uh, 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 a little bit of oranges. Um, Aristotle's regime science stuff. Um, and I want to get that to a major serious press. I'm not going to do it myself. I'm going to, that is an academic book and my, my university want, expects me to get published. I don't get, I won't get credit for that. Okay. My, the, 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 the Lulu book. In fact, there'll be a slap on the wrist. I'll get really criticized. They would have been, a, a, my, my department and the university would have been happier if I did it on the, on the, uh, uh, with the publisher, you know, the, 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 the major publisher, because that looks respectable. Whereas me doing it through the publisher, again, I did it for the sake of the, so it's affordable. That's why I did it for that one. It's less bells and whistles, but I think I did a good job. And I think it's a very useful uh, thing. So I hope you, you uh, think about it. And that's why I want, I'm turning to here to get pay, you know, patrons and assistants who wants to help me. I would. I, I'm kind of leery about Patreon because of the the culture of Patreon, the kind of politically correct woke culture. Uh, I'm not that. I'm. I'm a child of the old right. I'm. My professor. I, I was a mentor. I was a friend and mentoree, mentee of uh, Amy Bradford, the Southern conservative, who is persona non grata today in the conservative circles because he was. He was. He supported Southern traditionalism, and he was a child of the uh, uh, post, you know, post World War II South, and the, with all the problems of the, you know, segregation at that, um, and he was a conservative. He wasn't embracing the radicalism. And, um, I share many of his views. I'm, although I'm a New Englander, I don't. Uh, I'm not a Confederate. I'm a child of the uh, North. Uh, but I'm, well, I came from, my, I'm a Rhode Islander, so I came from a very strange New England uh, part, where New Englanders, but also we were kind of against, the, you know, the Constitution, because we, we were, we were kicked in, you know, we joined the Union, was kicking and scratching, and my family was, had traces to me. My father's side of the family goes all the way back to the beginning of the colonies. Um, uh, my mother's side is Greek, you know, who already came to the 20th century to America. Uh, her parents. Uh, uh, she was the first born. She was first, she was she was born in the United States in 1920s. So, um, um, uh, uh, so therefore, uh, my experience of, uh, is co very diverse. My father's mother was a uh, suffragette. Uh, worked for Ford Ford Motor Company uh, for in New England and had the f uh, f first woman with a driver's license in Rhode Island. So I mean I you know I, I it, it's a it, it's a, a, a I come from a very different background I come from people who were kind of old line Republicans who by this meant they were like you know uh, uh, they supported people like John Chafee and things like that Richard Nixon was kind of like the uh, kind of conservative for them my parent my father died before the rise of uh, my mother's still alive she no not still alive but she was still alive at the time of Reagan. She didn't really like Reagan that much because she's an actor, right? Um, 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 but uh, uh, but but my fa father's family was very Republican. Uh, my mother's family is kind of all these Greek immigrants and therefore Greek Democrats. To, I mean, not true. Some of them do vote, they vote Republican a lot of times, but um, some of them, the the, the 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 more professional ones, tend to be vote Democrats. And in fact. One of my Greek cousins is the gay mayor of Democratic mayor of Tampa. Okay, so it's funny in that sense. We, in fact, he, all his life he was, you no, know, his mother and his father thought that he was nice to let his friend live in the garage above his house. <laughs> the garage, the garage, no, the room above the garage. His friend, uh, you know, they, st uh, they a lot of the Greek gays don't ever come out of the closet in that sense. Because they, they don't want to get their uh, grandparents or their parents a heart attack. Um, again, that's you know, this is the odd world of that. Um, that's me. That's, I introduce my. This is my subscribe search page. Um, I'm here. This is like the Renaissance, baby. We're in the Renaissance, uh, um, uh, and I, in a world we can't rely on teacher universities. Uh, like I said, I joked. The inflation took my my Central European. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not 
I don't have a teaching job in the United States with, or even Germany. My God, if I had German salary, I wouldn't even bother with asking people to do this because it'd be a, it'd be it'd be a travesty. You getting paid a hundred thousand euros? No, I don't even get. I don't even make probably thirty thousand dollars honestly at, at the end of the day at the university job. Um, this is my office. This is my secret underground office at my under my apartment. The apartment's upstairs, and we rent. I rented, uh, made some money. I'm paying for this, like a, of this, because our apartment is small, because we had to move again because of the taxes and things. Um, we had to move to my wife's uh, uh, apartment, which was much more her apartment, uh, but couldn't hold my library, so we rented in the building the, the kind of basement area, okay? Um, it's safe. We, we, I spent some money fixing it up. It's a great library. It's my huge library. It's uh, Most of it came from America. I brought with me. Or, uh, we shipped them over in 2000, like 2000. 14, 15? Yeah, I think 2014, 15. 15, 16. Yeah, 14. Um, I had to leave a lot behind and lost forever. All my good science fiction stuff. I now, I, if I have science fiction, it's only on Kindle. Uh, I had all these, I had, I had tons of paperbacks that just stayed in America. I only brought about 65% of my books, a lot of the fiction, a lot of things I just left there, a lot of stuff I, you know, I, and I studied over time that were kind of antiquated or, or, or old. I couldn't, you know, couldn't particular literature stuff. My wife wouldn't let me bring the Marx, you know, my Stalin. I had, you know, Stalin letter, Stalin. And the, my wife refused to let me bring these Soviet era kind of printed volumes the communists used to sell to the West. Um, I had like Stalin and some other guys, and she just refused. My Polish wife refused to let me ship them over here. Um, so I, I, I um, and a lot of the policy stuff in the when I, when I was in, worked in Uncle Sam uh, before going back to graduate school, all the Cold War policy stuff. I it's, it's out of date, so I left that behind too. So most of what I kept is the historical, the great stuff, the classics, the text the translations, and then all the books I bought here. here my 20 years here, uh, mostly from Amazon and places like that. So um, I joke, I spend more money on books than I spend on other things. Um, I, you know, I, I admit my, my vices are whiskey and uh, good scotch and whiskeys. I used to drink vodka, but I don't drink that anymore. I just, I've gone through some bourbon and scotches and occasionally cigar, but now I don't even smoke a cigar that much because of health uh, after COVID and things like that. Now, um, trust me, I had COVID. It was horrible. Um, and it almost killed me. Not, not, not because of ventilation, but it what it did to my my already problematic heart. You know, big guys and all. It, it, it just it just really destroyed, attacked the, attacked the structure of the heart and things. And hence, this is why I kind of like really want to get my book done. Um, this is me. This is who you're gonna if you join and do this. I have to figure out how to make tears. Um, um, uh, 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 the tiers are going to be uh, doing the, uh, uh, the general subscribe thing is there. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I want to get at least enough that I can get 2,000, 2,000, 2,000 a month that will allow me not to have to whore myself out to a lot of things. It allows me to pay my American Social Security contribution, which I have to pay to keep my Social Security up. I'm not that old yet. I'm not retaking my social security. I like to have get it when I get it. I'm almost that age, you know. Um, uh, so I have to pay that. I have to pay my American cre uh, what, what my American credit cards in that sense. I have to pay debts on that. I, I, I buy my books American credit cards, you know. so I can't get Polish credit cards <laughs> because I don't. My even though I'm, I've been here 20 years, got a job, pretty good, decent job, a professor salary, system, you know. It's not just a professor. It's it's kind of a professor, but not. Ordinary, it's kind of like an associate in America, but we don't see a different structure. I'm a university professor, that's the title at Washington University. Um, it's not, you know, I can afford things, but now with the inflation, um, where our buying power is hit by a third, literally a third, honestly, and the taxes have just increased. That's why we had to move here. So it's been very difficult. I had to buy less books. Like I guess we're going to put the books on. Oh, these, I, I, have, I, I have room. You can't see the shelves in the back over there. You can't see the full shelves over here. It's a pretty, it's 26, 28, 26 meter room with a, a, another ax, a, a, a cove right there. 
see where the uh, thing see the the light over there and over the, the, the window over there in the back and there there's a cove right there the doors out there there's another, there's like a pantry over here in the bathroom sorry my own bathroom is kind of cool um uh, and this is my uh, 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 thing i might have to uh, i can probably someday we'll take people to on a i don't have to do a video tour like like the mighty jingles did recently did oh can we mention youtubers and things like that i will uh, uh, i i did um, again, this is me, and this is what I'm doing, why here, and I should shut up. I've been 9 to 20 minutes, and this is long enough. Bye-bye.